It was the centre of controversy during the election campaign. Labor's tax plans. Now the government's revealed both the mandate of its tax working group and the man at its helm, former finance minister and Labour Party stalwart, of course, Michael Cullen. Here is our political reporter, Craig McCulloch. At last, the big reveal. The man who'll lead Labour's crack squad tasked with overhauling the tax system. Drum roll, please. Sir Michael Cullen will be the chair of the tax working group. Sir Michael's a former finance minister and deputy prime minister in the Clark government. He was also part of Labour's negotiating team to form this government. And the current finance minister, Grant Robertson, says he's the perfect fit for the new role. Sir Michael is widely respected across the political spectrum and has been used by governments of both Labour and National for his expertise. The other seven members of the group, a mix of tax experts, businesses and workers, are still top secret, although their names are expected to be revealed in the next few weeks. They've been directed to look at New Zealand's whole tax system, focusing on measures to cool the housing market, look after the environment and boost business. We are not setting out on this process to increase or grab revenue. We're setting out on this process to get a fairer and more balanced tax system. So here's what's not on the table. The group won't look at putting up income tax or GST. It won't consider an inheritance tax or a water tax and nothing that will affect the family home. Apart from that, Sir Michael's open to whatever comes up. Some people have assumed that there's a decision already made and all this is about is simply justifying a decision. Well, there's absolutely no truth in that. And that is exactly National's attack line. What Labor wants is a capital gains tax. Stephen Joyce is ridiculing the idea the group's independent, given its chair is a Labor stalwart. It'd be like the National Party inviting John Key to be an independent chair of something. It just doesn't work. The tax expert Norman Gemmell is waiting to cast his judgment till he sees the full lineup. The university professor and former Treasury chief economist sat on the last tax working group in 2009. His main concern is that the scope could be too narrow. It would be slightly odd to say, well, we're not even going to consider changing income tax rates. And that sounds to me more like a political choice than a, a carefully designed choice from the point of view of assessing the tax system. Glenn Barclay from the Public Service Association has the same worry. He wishes both income and inheritance tax were being considered. If you're going to tackle issues like unfairness in the tax system, inequality, then you need to broaden the dialogue, I think. The group will report back on its findings in September next year, with a final report due in February 2019. No significant changes will come into effect until after the 2020 election. Atu iti whare paremata mo te hotaka o te ahiahi ko Craig McCulloch